Hey, what's going on, More Medic One? Today we're working on a uh, golf cart and we've replaced the battery in it. We're fixing to hook up the cables now. And we've, you know, you've determined that the battery was bad. You've load tested the battery and it is deemed, you know, dead. You know, just a good rule of thumb here is whenever you disconnect a battery, it's always best to disconnect the negative first and then the positive and then vice versa. When you put the new battery in, hook your positive up first and then your negative. That way you don't chance, uh, you know, interfering with the frame of the machine with your wrench. If you had the negative hooked up now, and then you go to put the positive on and, you're, and you hit something metal with your wrench, you're going to arc it out. So we are going to install the positive first. And then the negative. Plenty tight right there. Now I went ahead and removed the seat. I want to show you guys how to put a club car in service mode. What you do, or what it does, it actually lets you start this thing up in neutral. There's neutral. And right back here where the switches are, we're going to turn this right to that position right there. That's the backup sensor. And this is the switch to tell it whether it's in neutral. So as you can tell, it's on the cam, switches up. So it should start in neutral. Key switch is on and whenever you hit the gas pedal, it starts the motor spinning over. off the gas it kills the engine but however what we're going to do i'm going to go ahead and we're going to get it cranked up i'm going to get it at wide open throttle and then we're going to check the charging voltage and actually see if it's charging the battery you can take your seat and invert the seat sideways and make sure it pushes down on your gas pedal give it a little choke if you have to Should be wide open throttle. Let it charge just a minute. Let me go get my voltmeter. Alrighty, I got my voltmeter hooked up. We should be charging somewhere around 14 and a half to 15.3. Right at 15 right now. It's fluctuating back and forth between 14, 9, and 15. That means that the alternator is charging. The alternator is stuck way back up under here. It's right there. So it's actually, this, even though it's a Kawasaki small engine, it does not have a charging coil under the flywheel. It uses a generator starter. Like that one right there. The RPMs seem to be a little bit low, so I'm going to show you how to adjust this. I do not have my tachometer with me, so I don't recommend setting RPMs without a tachometer, but I'm gonna show you what you need to adjust. Now, the governor on this engine does not, is not governed by the engine. It's governed by the RPMs of the transmission. What you do, you have a little tab back here that you can adjust the spring tension on just like you would a, uh, an engine governor, but we're just going to give it just a little bit more spring tension. It don't take much. That sounds about right right there.
It needs to be about 3,400, 3,450. If you start getting any more than that, it's gonna hit on the rev limiter. And I'll show you what it sounds like when you do that. Well, I can't because the, I'll have to do it manually. Here it goes, boom, boom. Yeah, that's the electronic uh, rev limiter. But that sounds about right, 3450, somewhere in there. It just depends on the application. All righty, guys, we got the golf cart going one more time. Keep in mind, I've got about 20 of these in my fleet that I keep up. Key off, so we're good to go. If this content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and hit that like button. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good rest of your day. Mower Medic 1.